Okay, blue skies. So, quick review of the chord changes. A minor, well, I'm capoed on the second fret, so it's B minor, but I'm just going to call them out the shape. So, A minor. Da, da. Now, the second chord is called an A minor major seventh. How can it be a minor major? Well, this is the A note. It's dropping to the first fret, so you end up with this chord. First fret B, first fret G, second fret E. A very dark little chord. So A minor, da, 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 A minor seventh, which is just an A minor with an open G. Da, da. Then D seventh with an F sharp bass, and I'm playing it like, like this. Second fret on the low E with my uh, middle finger, ring finger on the G string, second fret, so both those on the second, and then pointer finger on the first fret of the B string. That's a D seventh chord with an F sharp bass. And then a C, da, G, da, 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 E chord, and it repeats that, A minor, A minor, major seventh, A minor seventh. Seventh over F sharp C G da da da. The bridge is much quicker. Da, 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 da. That's a diminished chord, an F diminished. You don't know how to play a diminished chord? Well, this is a good one to learn because it they're all movable. But this one is third fret D, third fret B, fourth fret G, fourth fret E. That's a diminished shape. It can be moved anyway. So that's all over a C chord. Da 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 da. F sharp. And then C. And then D minor. C. G back to C. play that as an F minor, you can do that too. And E, and then you're back at the beginning. Okay, so how we get that melody in there? So I'm, I'm trying to keep this bass going. So I start out with the... All I'm doing is hitting the... G string, second fret. And that's the high E. Blue skies. And I grab that changing G string. So the melody is again, I've got my first finger on the first fret of the G and the B, so I've got that note already down. B string to open, I mean to second, first fret, third fret on the B to first fret on the B, and then back, so essentially I'm trying to keep this going the whole time. fret of the, that's a seventh, but third fret of the uh, D string. I see. And then you go to an E chord, and the whole thing repeats, and then the second time it goes, nothing but blue sky. I 
melody is. First fret B, third fret B, open E, first fret E, third fret C, D, E, F, G. Again, while I'm keeping this guy going. Now here, I'm grabbing that F sharp, uh, that F diminished. Just, now I'm going to stop the thumb, believe it or not. I'm going to go. And then when I hit this melody note, I'm grabbing the open D string. Back to a C. And then either Whichever one you like. The D minor is a little easier. So the melody is the first fret, first string, open, third fret, B string, open E. Da, 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 F, E, D, E. So when you get back to that E, you're back on a C chord. chord there and the melody is B string third fret B string first open back to first while I'm and my thumb is on the sixth and the fourth and then I'm back to C and that all repeats fingering probably recommend that middle finger pointer finger E Here's another way of playing it up the neck. You can go. Kind of stairway to heaven. Which is sort of what that song is. That's a D seventh chord, believe it or not. It's like, well... What I'm, all I'm playing is the 4th fret of the D string, 5th fret of the G, and 3rd fret of the B with the open A. And then you're back to C. Anyways, lots of variations that you, are possible. But once you get the basic chords and the melody, I think you'll be off to the races. Have fun.